Wow, this is great. Oh, it feels good to be here. Uh, I've had a very exciting last few months, recently got engaged. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a childhood dream come true because I was one of those kids. Ever since I was a kid, I was just like obsessed with the idea of love. I was just like an eight-year-old walking sonnet that loved rom-coms. That, they were my jam. Just any movie with a number in the title and it's about love, I'm in, right? 27 dresses, 10 things I hate about you, 50 first dates, right? Eight mile, amazing, love it. You know, like if you took all the DVDs in my childhood bedroom and you line them up next to each other, it looked like a math equation where the answer was Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Wasn't an easy path though, right? Lots of heartbreak, lots of breakups. Uh, I remember my first breakup, I was 16. It was a month and a half into the relationship. She broke up with me and I was desperate to save it. I was just like, tell me what to do. I'll do anything. I'm malleable, I'm Play-Doh. Like I was, I was simping before the word simp existed, okay? Like back then they just called me a pussy, but I just cared, I just cared. And I'll never forget what she told me. She looked at me and she just said, no, Daniel, you don't understand. It's just the sound of your voice. <laughs> infuriates me. <laughs> yeah, brutal. But I looked at her, hopeful, right? I was like, how about now? <laughs> didn't work, didn't work. But it's okay, because now I found love, we found each other. But when I started dating her, uh, there was this older comic, very bitter dude, miserable, doesn't trust women, right? And he was like, hey man, listen, she seems cool, but you better be careful because she might be a pre-gold digger. I was like, you mean gold digger? He's like, no, 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 pre-gold digger. See, here's the thing. She might just be with you because she thinks that one day you're gonna be really successful and have a lot of money. She's just waiting around for that. I was like, so you mean a woman that believes in my dreams? Uh, okay, go, go, go. I'll keep an eye out for that. Good. Uh, my parents, though, they're the reason that I've always been obsessed with love because I grew up hearing their love story. See, they, they met on a blind date, got engaged on the second date, married six months later, happily married now for over 30 years, right? Yeah, beautiful story of love. True story, my mom needed a green card and it worked out, but you know, love, <laughs> love is love. Uh, my dad, uh, my dad's actually from Mexico. My mom is from Argentina and both of them are Jewish. So that's what happened here. And yeah, if you wonder the arithmetic on that, it's pretty much Mexican Jew plus Argentinian Jew equals a guy that looks like he loves the gap, which is, uh, which is true. I do, I love a good pair of khakis. And, some people get thrown off when I say that I'm Latino, especially when I pronounce it Latino. They're just like, no. Somebody studied abroad. <laughs> just like, right? Uh, Spanish is my first language. I'm very grateful for my parents for teaching me how to speak Spanish. But uh, I got to that age where I got to school and I found out that I could take Spanish class in school. So all of a sudden, yo no hablo espanol. Uh, right? I wanted, wanted to get that easy A. But my grammar, it was trash. So, and I never understood the imperfecto. So C pluses all around. And yeah, there's this one kid that would make fun of me, right? He'd be like, oh, Daniel. How do you get a C plus in Spanish if you speak Spanish? And I'll be like, oh, uh, oh no, Caleb. How the fuck you fail English? Huh? If you speak English, pendejo. You know, I'm never a fan of Caleb. Never, never a fan. I love going back to Mexico and Argentina and visiting my family, especially my grandma in Mexico. Oh, she's a badass. She's 80, hard-headed, smokes cigarettes still, pack a day, every day, killing it, her lungs. And I remember one time my sister tried to guilt her into stop smoking cigarettes, right? She looked at my grandma and she's like, hey, abuela, you know, I want you, I want you to stop smoking cigarettes because I want you to make it to my wedding, right? It was a real poignant moment. And my grandma, she looks at my sister and she goes, well, 
when do you think you're going to get married? <laughs> and my sister's like, I don't know, maybe like in five or 10 years, you know, when I meet the right person. And my grandma looks at her and she goes, <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> She's just, she does not fear the reaper, that woman. My, uh, my fiance's obviously come and like visited uh, my family, you know, in Mexico and Argentina, and in an effort to better communicate with them, she started to learn how to speak Spanish, which is very wonderful, very sweet, uh, but bad news for me, because now I have to learn how to actually say sexy things in the bedroom, because up until now, I've been getting away with some bullshit. Because uh, here's the thing, I've never like felt like a sexy dude, right? But like Spanish, that was my secret weapon, right? Especially with women that didn't speak Spanish, because I could say almost anything, and to them, it just like sounded sexy. You know, I could be like, ay mi amor, te voy a coger, como un payaso which means I'm gonna fuck you like a clown. <laughs> right? Accurate, not sexy. <laughs> and in the past it was fine, in the past it was fine. She'd be like, oh yeah, Mr. Payaso, you know? And I had to be like, yeah, that's not weird, it's cool, yeah. But now she's a student, she's like, oh yeah, what does that mean? And I'm like, oh no, I gotta pivot. I gotta, I gotta be sexy in English. I gotta translate. So I try my best, right? I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's, it means um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fuck you. Like, like a lion. <laughs> She's like, wait, isn't the word for lion leon? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's one of those words that doesn't translate well. It's, um, different words mean different things in different countries. It's, uh, it's, it's the imperfecto. I got C plus because of this shit. So it's, don't, don't, don't think too hard about it. It's fine. Start taking salsa classes together. I'm not a very good salsa dancer, but you know, I enjoy the class. And uh, we have the, our instructor, him and I have like inside jokes because I'm the only one in class to speak Spanish. And by inside jokes, I mean he just makes fun of me in Spanish and attacks my insecurities. It's a good time. I paid to be more anxious, apparently, is the deal. But the other day we were in class and I was feeling pretty good about myself, you know? I felt like I had some rhythm, I was just in the moment, and then out of nowhere I hear him yell out, Orale, baila payaso! And I'm like, this dude just called me a clown. But my fiance heard and she's like, oh my God, baby, he called you a lion, you're killing it, yes! <laughs> 